I'm Lisa Yen, the Director of Programs and Outreach with LACNITS, here in Miami for the very first Miami Nanitz Regional and also the first 2024 Nanitz Regional with Dr. Aman Chohan, who hosted the Nanitz Regional. And Dr. Chohan, thank you for hosting and being the hostess with the Moses. And um, I'd love to hear from you. What are you most excited about right now in the field of neuroendocrine tumors? Well, first of all, Lisa, thank you so much for coming all the way from California to support our inaugural regional nanites in Miami. We're very excited. We hosted a, a wonderful, successful first uh, symposium. Uh, last 12 months in, the, in our field uh, in neuroendocrine cancers have been incredible with a slew of positive clinical trials. Let's start off with uh, last October uh, when Dr. Jennifer Chan to reveal the data from cabinet study at ESMO. So we now have a very effective tool in our toolbox called cabozantinib, which has been now shown to like, benefit our both pancreatic as well as extra pancreatic well differentiated neuroendocrine tumors. So, so a big, big news in our field, and I'm very happy for our patients that we have another way to fight this cancer. The other really important study that was recently revealed at GI ASCO by Dr. Simran Singh, who was also with us today here in Miami, is NETR2 study. This is the first study studying Lutathera in the frontline setting, prospectively in a randomized fashion, in higher grade well different neuroendocrine tumor, a real critical unmet need. And what this study was able to show and confirm that Lutathera works not only well, but it's also safe uh, in this kind of setting. So very happy to now have access to radio pharmaceutical in even frontline setting uh, for our higher grade or more aggressive well differentiated neuroendocrine tumor, or at least we have data to support the use of that. Last but not the least, uh, for our well differentiated neuroendocrine tumor patients, you know, one of the things that I often hear from our patients uh, Carcer syndrome patients is that they they like the drug cisandostatin and landriotides very very pivotal and important drugs how we manage Carcer syndrome but what they don't like is injections getting injected every month which unfortunately of course I personally don't like getting injected by needles so there's been a big clamor in our field to kind of find an alternative a pill or a patch or some other way to administer these medicines. So Crenetics de designed the drug, which is a pill or an oral somatostatin analog called paltucetine and was tested in a phase two study. And that study was recently revealed and Dr. Simran Singh presented the data. I was part of that study and it was a, a resounding success. The phase two study showed that 60% reduction in carcinoid syndrome symptom with the help of this pill. So very excited to see drug development in neuroendocrine tumor. But last but not the least, one of the sister cancers in neuroendocrine cancer world called high-grade poorly differentiated neuroendocrine carcinoma, which is truly an unmet need because it's a very aggressive cancer and the, the five-year outcomes are dismal. Only 10% patients are alive at five years with high-grade poorly differentiated neuroendocrine cancer. We finally have a drug which looks promising and it's an immunotherapy drug called DLL3 bite. So, High-grade neuroendocrine cancer expresses this molecule DNA3 on its surface and bite antibody, which is a T-cell engager, attaches the, to the cancer cell and then engages T-cell, which is our own immune system, immune cells, to attack the cancer cells. And some of the early data that was revealed in ASCO, AACR, and recently at ENET shows some profound uh, benefits. So we are eagerly to, waiting to see that story unfold in larger randomized study but definitely um, very positive news for our high-grade neuroendocrine cancer patients. So as you can see, a lot of really good things happening and we look for even better things in 2024. Wow, that's exciting. Three positive trials in 12 months um, and more on the horizon and all using different mechanisms and targeting different parts of living with the disease. Thank you for your dedication and hard work. Congratulations on a successful Nanets Regional, and we look forward to hearing more. Thank you, Zebra out.